All right, folks, today we're diving into the wild world of plumbing to change a compression quarter turn angle stop. I promise it's more fun than it sounds, and that's a low bar. First, let's turn off the water supply. You don't want a surprise shower unless you're into that kind of thing. Once the water's off, grab your wrench and let's get to work. Remember, Lefty Lucy, righty tighty. Unless you're in Australia where everything's upside down. Now give that old angle stop a twist. If it fights back, remind it that resistance is futile. You're the boss here. If it still won't budge, well, maybe a little sweet talk will help. Come on, baby, let's make this easy on both of us. Out with the old and in with the new. Slide the compression nut and ring onto the pipe, then slip on your shiny new angle stop. Tighten it up, but not too tight. We're aiming for Goldilocks here just right. You don't want it leaking, and you definitely don't want to strip the threads. That's like breaking a nail on the first date. Now, for the moment of truth, turn the water back on and check for leaks. If everything's dry, congratulations. You've just leveled up in the game of home improvement. If there's a drip, just tighten things up a bit. But if it's a full-on fountain, well, maybe it's time to call in a pro. And there you have it, folks. Your new angle stop is ready to go. If you found this helpful, hilarious, or even just mildly amusing, hit that subscribe button. And remember, for every new subscriber, a plumber somewhere gets a fresh pair of knee pads. Keep those knees safe, people. Until next time, happy plumbing.